So, tier list. Finally, it's about time that I should do a tier list. I know many people on the YouTube community has done it, except for me. And I thought since we finished Monster Hunter World, I really want to do it so I have my uh, my own opinions about the monsters, about uh, what I like. So we got top tier, amazing, best, okay, bad, and fuck off. So yeah, this is actually uh, gonna be kind of a controversial <laughs> tier list, but I will show you um, what I thought the first time I faced them. And we started with the Great Jaguars. Um, fun monster fights, it's your, it's your basic uh, beginner. It's like a giant piranha. No, no, a, a, a piranha. He's like a, a yellow lizard. Eats monsters, makes his belly bigger. There is a mission out there if you, uh, like he's bigger, like more and more bigger. And if he's chew out or puke out his monster, um, there's some like items you can collect, which is actually very interesting. So I can, I give him a, I give him a okay. It's a good start. It's a good start how you're facing him, uh, in Monster Hunter Worlds. And, it's funny when you have the end game armor, it's just you can kill him in a few seconds. And the next monster is Coolio Koo, Mr. Bird Up. Bird Up. Ah! I give it a, uh, I give him an amazing. He's he's funny. He used like his axe and uh, sh like a, a giant pot or even a rock to defend himself. And I think you can like stun him so he can like uh, f fall the item. I think he also you can. Um, What's it called again? I think when you flinch him or something. It, it's been a while facing Cool You Cool. I remember the, the first time because I thought, hey, this guy is back. And then I realized this is actually his debut monster. Like, his Worlds is the first time that he debuted. So, because I've played Rise before Worlds. So, I thought, oh, oh cool. He's actually. The, this is his first debut. That's actually cool. And yeah, there's also a lot of memes uh, made about him. That's why I put him in amazing. Puke Puke! Um, best? It, it's it's like uh, it, it's really between. I I think you got Coral Puka Puka, but this one uh, goes focus on poison, and it, it does appear on the sh uh, cutscene. And the first time I tried to find him, it was hard to find because I thought, wait, there's like a circle location. He stays there, and it, it's funny because he looks goofy as hell, but when he's pissed, like he looks like angry, angry, you know. Not too angry, but um, get a lot of antidotes ready because you, you're gonna lose some health in the fight against Puka Puka. Bogey off! We're going to Wild Sparrow Waste. Uh, not his debut in Monster Hunter World. He came like in the, I think, fourth generation. I think in the fourth generation he came in. I give him the best as well. I think he's funny. Like, you have to uh, destroy a little bit of his armor because it's like a manifest of mud. Um, he's funny. He's really funny. I like when he's pissed that he just rush in to um, to hit you, and you heard like a to um, to get you. I like it. I like Boggles. It's uh, it was first of my favorite monster in Monster Hunter World until I play further the game. Jurados can like suck my dick. This is a monster I did not like. Where are you? Where are you? Where the fuck are you, man? Oh, there you are. Fuck off. I did not like him facing for the first time. Now, if you Later, you're getting better in the game, then of course he's not a big of a problem. But now it's more like, why is he here? Why is he here? Why does he exist? Uh, Tobogadashi! The squirrel! Where are you? Where are? Oh, there you are. Amazing! I think he was fun. And we're not talking about the later Tobogadashi, but this version focuses on electricity. And it's actually fun to fight. Like, he just sit. he just hands on on the tree like a squirrel and then he goes to a little uh, barrel to attack you he can be fast but he's fun and i think the last time i uh the, no, the first time i faced him i almost got killed off until an engine stepped in and just bashed him that was enough for me to get the, the victory and speak about engine f mr megatron himself where are you i mean i like the fight the armor is amazing oh shit i cannot even find him is he actually on this tier list Oh, there you are. Here you go. Also amazing. I have seen the memes of uh, the end of his beast Megatron saying, Yes. But I like uh, that this is also his uh, world debut. And I'm glad they brought him back in Rise. Like, Engine of is like your typical Tyrannosaurus Rex. However, when he gets pissed off, then his nose appears and his uh, winds appears as well. I like how I like how they design Engine F. 
It's also he was also in the beta, but then he got killed off by Lucky Chris. Uh, and then again, I hope Lucky Chris does return in Monster Hunter Wilds, hopefully. Zora Macteros. Get out. I I I have. I, I have no just get out next so now we're in the coral highlands I think the first mount you have to face well you don't have to but it's just a cutscene is uh, Kitsiaku the paparazzi he is annoying because uh, it's just a typical velociraptor but the problem is he can um, he can stunt you he can he he's like the paparazzi in the game and it can be fun but I think he master rank he has a move that I, it only happens to me because in, when, when you fa face him for the first time, he just like f like flits a little bit, and then in Master Rank when he tries to do that his attack, he can jump to another direction, and that that I like that about uh, uh, our little uh, Raptor boy. But I think it's okay. Uh, Palumu, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I think Nightshade Palumu looks better in design. Palumu looks okay. It's just bad because it's wind conditions. The first time I faced him was uh, or her uh, was with the instant glyph, and the problem is uh, with wind conditions, you think, oh, he he's gonna blow you away. This version just makes sure that it comes to your to his direction, and it's oh, uh, it's it's so annoying. I do like the armor, but it's not a fun fight. I, I'm not a fan of Palumu. Uh, then we go to uh, the Rodden Valley. Or Rodden Vale. Let's see. Oh! Radoban! Oh, this... Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Top tier. The Nederlands Spinner. I love this fight a lot. Like, the armor set is cool. Especially the feline armor. It's like the uh, one of the new versions of Yurigan. And like Yurigan, you can mine his... Uh, his his belly when he's on the ground. He spins vertically, horizontally, and the music is good, and you have to break his armor. I, I give it top tier. I really like how Radoban, or Radoban in the Dutch, is been named. I mean, he, it has a Dutch name, you think about it. Radoban. So yeah, I like how they did that. Uh, another monster, I almost forgot to put him in. I think, I hope he is actually. I think it's Great Juros. I think where, where's Great Juros? Great Juros is definitely a monster that only like has that that small attack, and he's not. It's, it's like oh, he, he's he's just easy. He's just easy. However, however, when he has a pack, then it's a bigger problem because then you have to make sure you're not getting swarmed by his uh, little buddies out there. Ah, oh, there you are. Can't even see you. It's bad, but. I like the suit. I like the hat you actually have. That's just really cool. Uh, Lekiana. Uh, okay. I think it has ice blights. Uh, the design looks cool. The armor set is cool. Um, it can be annoying because he, she just continues to scream every time. And it, it can be hard. But it's a monster I won't mind to see him return in wilds. I, I think the design, uh, besides, is like it looks cool. Uh, let's see. Older Garon. Hey. Put some respect on the boy. I think Odergaron, I like how they did it. It um, He's fast. People call him the Speed Demon. Because he makes sure... He's, he's, he's really, really fast. He does that, that fake attack, and then he attacks you again. And you can bleed out from his attacks. Like, I like uh, how he plays. I'm glad they brought him like a subversion in Rise Sunbreak. But the armor set is so fucking cool. That it's just... Oh, it's like you you ha when you complete like the entire set it, like you have an, you feel that that Oni in of you. It's just ah, oh, he deserves top tier. It, it's a beautiful monster. He's fast. He's annoying, but he deserves the top tier spot. He, he deserves it. Then Raphalos. Uh, I give him an okay. He's like the flagship monster of Monster Hunter One, and. The, of course, the flagship monster in Monster Hunter World is Nerugante, but there's only in the Japanese cover. In us, for Europe and America, we have, like, Rathalos. But it's okay. I mean, he's, he's a basic dragon that will come after you and wait. Oh, fuck! I just... Oh, God! I forgot about you, Ravian! How did I miss you? Man, I just keep on the list <laughs> because I always, always have to forgot. Oh, shit. We also have to do the cutscenes and all when they appear. But yeah, Ravian, Rathalos... Uh, Ravian, Queen, uh, Queen of the Lands, Ravlos, King of the Skies. Uh, Ravios, 
mostly stays in the on the air, but you have to take him down for uh, to get him. And Raffian is just you know, just on lands, sometimes flights. They have a poison tail, so you have to be careful with that. Diablos, my nemesis. Let's just let's put um, Black Diablos as well. Diablos, the Sand Devil, uh, can be annoying because he. He, he, he digs in the sand. The sound is, is just really creepy. And you really, like, it, it will, it's okay to lose a few times against him. But it, it's, uh, oh, like the, the cutscene. The moment he got barbed out of that sand pit. It, it's really cool. And Black Diablos is the female version. It's just a monster in heat. Because she's fucking horny. And she has that attack. She just, like, holding that claw and then attacks you. So yeah, I, I love how uh, they uh, implement Diablos and Black Diablos. Also, they have an attack that they, they drill sometimes, which is actually cool. All right, what is next? Uh, Paint Raffian. It's like same, it's the same Raffian, but um, just a little bit harder. Um, they have a cutscene as well. And again, it's like a harder version of Raffian. It, it's not bad, it, it's, it's okay. But it's it's it, I like the design a little bit better. Like pink does fit for Raffian if you think about it. Uh, Neragante. I mean, I don't have the greatest history with Neragante, but the fight, however, is amazing. I think he looks cool. He fights cool. He's like the dragon that has the balance in the world. Because if there's something goes off, he goes straight up to the location and will get you. Uh, his spice can be annoying, but the area where you're facing him, especially the last part of the Elders Recess, is amazing. But speak about the Elders Recess, I almost forgot about the other monsters. <laughs> and that is, uh, Jurgen. Ah, Jurgen is an... Is okay, it's like Radoban, but then with explosive a little bit. And he rolls. And it, 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 it's the same, it's the same fight like uh, Radoban, but uh, of Radoban. But Jurgen is a bit, uh, I mean, I, I dig the theme with the uh, Elders Recess, but he also has that, like, no, Radoban has that, sl something that sleep, while Erogan has that blast on his belly when he just, just go like this, for example. And then you got Dalogama! I mean, come on, Hamboy, best boy himself. If you're gonna hunt him and you kill Dalogama, you are the worst of the worst. No one will kill and Dodogama. Dodogama is beautiful, chunky, and he only attacks when he's provoked. Like, it's more of a monster you're thinking, oh, okay, you know, he, he's, just, he's just doing his thing. He's, he's rocks, he sleeps. And it's also funny because when he gets attacked by another monster, normally if the two monsters are fighting, then the other one is also attacking you. Dodogama is not. Dodogama just makes sure of, hey, I'm gonna hurt you, and he just, he's kinda help you, kinda. He's, he's still a good boy. He's 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 like he's just a little ham boy. He's really the most pacific of monsters in the game. Love your slot. Get out. Armor great, but no. The fight here. I like again. I like how they did with the lava that he just swims there and then attacks. But but then again, uh, no no. I keep I keep it with fuck off. I. I don't like facing Lafia slots. It's it's not a fun monster to fight. Uh, let's see what do we have. Uh, Kushala Dora. Ooh, uh, Wind Pressure Boy. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh man! It's, oh there! Oh dang! I cannot even see you. I give it best. I mean, it can be annoying because of his wind pressure, but the design looks amazing. He's the cover boy of Monster Hunter 2 Dos, and he he, he looks cool. Again, not fun to fight, except if you were gonna farm him, then it could be just easy to predict his movesets. Especially when you do Greatsword, then he's just lying there, you just grab him. But he uses big tornadoes, and I like about that. Not a monster I like to visit all the time, but it's a dragon that I love uh, to experience. It's funny, because in Monster of the World, except for the other games, in World, these, uh, the majority of the Elder Dragons don't attack you unless they are provoked, and of course you got some of them, they will attack you on sight, but Kushala is just like, just sitting there, smelling the air, doing his thing, but I think best really fits. And then we go to my favorite Elder Dragon of all time. Teostra. Teostra is my favorite dragon to fight. The Master Rank armor is amazing, his theme is amazing, and the reason is also because the Dutch, for example, 
uh, has mostly uh, their spirit animal is a lion. If the na if Monster Hunter was real in the Netherlands or in the world, Tiosa will be the main mascot for this area. Like I like he uses Nova. I like the way you he fights. Again, he. He doesn't attack you unless it's provoked, except if you go for the cutscene. He looks so badass. Like, he deserves top tier. And then you got his wife. Like, <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. That, that's very disrespectful. I give it an okay for Leonastra. I think Leonastra is hard to fight. Because in, instead of, like, doing the, uh, gun, like the flame powder... Lunastro focused mostly on the focus on the ground flames and her Nova is the worst But I give credit what credit does I like when they do it with the whole supernova bonding and that is just a That's just not this is majestic. I only experienced once in my life, and it's, it's just amazing instead of Camellios We get Volvazek um, Unique to the game really cool. I don't like his decayed form. Oh, no, I'm sorry I don't like his decayed ability that you're gonna lose like HP, uh, like like at the half of your HP. But I like its design. It's it's like the Grim Reaper from Rotten Vale, and you go to that bone cave area, and it's just oh, it's so cool. The theme is also very very good. It's like oh, it's so cool. I give him props. I give. I hope this is no. I'm just saying right now. In Monster of the Wilds, bring Valvazek back. If Camellios is not coming back in Worlds. Oh no, sorry, in Wilds, bring Valvazek. I think Valvazek is a perfect addition. Like, the focus, like, controlling the death, that is so cool. That is really, really cool. And then you got the uh, end boss of the story, Xenojiva. I give it best. The armor is good, the fight is long. It's like the baby version of Savijiva. The first half of the theme is so good. It's like you're feeling you're facing this thing. It, like, it's just a baby Elder Dragon. It's just born. You have to kill it, which is sad. But then again, it's Monster Hunter. You, it, it's, it's, ah, uh, it, it's just sad, but, you know, it, it is what it is. You have to do it. You have to do it. And then you got Basil Geese. B-52 Bomber. Hey, here we go. Top tier. I mean, <laughs> he comes out of nowhere and interrupts, he interrupts your fight. It's it's hard, but oh, I love it. I have seen the mods. People made a mod that he's like a real B-52 bomber airplane, and he just crashed down because of his scales or like bombs. Uh, Karen. Hmm. I, I I'm not a fan of Karen. I don't hate Karen at all, but it's like the head and this tail is like his weak spots, and he focused on electricity. Like long range, it's, it's it's hard. It's it's not it's not it's not a good fight. He doesn't have his own theme, which is really really sucks because I thought hey all these iconic Elder Dragons has their own theme, with the addition of course with Valvazak who's new. But Karen doesn't have an own theme in Worlds, which is really really sucks. Um, Devil Joe the pickle. I give him best. Because the other version of Devil Joe is annoying. He's big. He's basically the Godzilla of Monster Hunter. And that thing is not going to stop because he's hungry. He's hungry. And he I think he doesn't eat his own tail. There's a lot of debate about it. But he does grab some other monsters out there. But yeah, it's it's just a pickle boy. He just he, he's hard. The theme, however, especially when you it's the same goes with basil geese. Like, when I'm facing, this is the only for Salvage Devil Joe, when you're facing him, like, the music shows like, okay, you're so fucked, you need to run. Now, we're going to Iceborne, and I will say that Beotodus, I think it's the first, yeah, Beotodus, is much better. It's much better than Jerotodus and Lafayette Slot, because they focus on ice. I like his design better. It's like it's the first month you have to go to the horse first reach. And I like the way then when he goes for a special attack, you, you can hear his like, it has like an engine like brrrr, to attack you. It's like an, it's a shark. It's an ice shark. And I like this fight much better than uh, Jerotodus and Lafayette Sloan. I think Beatos deserves credit. He's fun to fight. He can be annoying, especially if you start with Master Rank. He, he, he's hard, but. It's a monster that I'm thinking, okay, yes, just, you're good, you're a good fight, I love it. And then you got a uh, Borrow, what was it called? Banborrow. 
the uh, reindeer of Monster Hunter. He's like the engine F. I mean, no, you know what? I give him an amazing because he grabs an, the rock, like a giant rock or a tree, and just runs your ass over it. I I love it how it, he looks cool too. Like the 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 suit is like uh the, no, the armor. Sorry, when you craft this armor. It, it's like uh, like the Viking feeling. Like I I had that feeling when you go to the horse first reach. You have the bump barrel uh, armor and just walking. Like okay, this is cool. It looks cool. Uh, he, then again, I don't have a good history with him, but I like the turf war win Beatotis. So I, at least I give him amazing. He's a good fight. Fiber Toby Kadashi. Nothing to say. It just. Poisoned you instead of electricity. Get out. Not a fun fight. Fuck him. Same goes with Nightshade Palumu. But then again, I give Nightshade Palumu a little bit on tier higher. Because instead of wins, it's focused on sleep. And yes, it can be annoying. But the design looks better. I think the design looks better. I think it, it like, oh, it looks cool. Especially the costume. He just look at you and he's like, we gets gets away with it. So yeah, I, I give a little at least I give him an okay. It's better than the original than Palumu. But yeah, if you're gonna ask me who do I would rather want to fight, I'll pick Nightshade Palumu any day than Fiber Toba Kadashi. Uh Kure Puke Puke, the water version of Puke Puke. I don't like it, it is bad, but I like it using this water instead of poison. And you find him in the coral highlands. So yeah, it's actually um it's just you know, just with water elements. Barry off. Oh, this this is gonna be a hard one. Barry off is one of the first roadblock you go into. For me, it was Fiber Topo Kadashi, but Barry off deserves at least amazing because the fight is hard. It really fits because with the horse first reach, but he's hard. He's really hard to fight. And to be fair, I think Frost Friend Barry off. I had not even a single problem with him, and because the original one is harder, I I rather had more fun time with Frost Fan, but the original can be hard. But at least it, it's a monster that I had issues uh, facing him in Rise and in World. I just realized he's more tougher, but he's I give him least credit. It's he's looks big, he looks strong, he deserves an amazing tier. Only because he's hard. Then, before Diablos was my nemesis, I had Tigrex. The absolute power. He deserves... Well, I mean, he's the worst. <laughs> People don't like him. I give him best. Um, the reason why I just want to beat him up so bad because I want his great sword. He is hard. Like, he's really, really hard. And here's the thing. He killed Radoban. In the cutscene, but it's, it just shows like, wait, that thing can easily take down Tyrex. No, Tyrex has his own namesake, absolute power. He can take down that monster. Like his brute force, it's just, oh, it's so hard. And don't get me started. You know, I'm just gonna put him on the list right now. And that's Brute Tyrex. Brute Tyrex is the subversion of Tyrex, and instead of like, like the original Tyrex. Brutes focus on screaming, and those screams can hurt you. You can take damage of it, but you do get a lot of spares, and it could be very good to upgrade your armor. So I give it at least amazing. The fame though is really good though. I, I give I give credit. He's hard, but it's it's still good. Uh, I almost forgot about this one. Glavinus. I mean, Glavinus deserves amazing. I like that he's like an, a a dinosaur. And he uses tail. He just sharp the tail. It, it, he's it's funny because it's Glavinus focus more on the great sword aspect, uh, aspect while um, acid uh, Glavinus, uh, Glavinus focus like a long like long sword uh, focus. So yeah, I, I like how they made also the sub version of him. But Glavinus deserves amazing tier. I really like it. You know what? No, I, I will I will put him on, on top tier. He. It, the theme is good. I like the way he fights. You, if you know his moveset all too well, it could be an enjoyment for yourself. Uh, Brachidios, the Dio of Monster Hunter. Best. I'm not a fan of him because of its slime. Uh, but I like the cutscene because he just killed off Jurgen right there. And he's just like doing this. Like he's just ordering something like, okay, what do you want to order? 
but he's hard to fight. Um, his slime can be annoying. He, he it, like, it's slime is the main problem for me when I'm facing Brachydios. It's hard. Um, the theme is good, but no, I don't want to visit him again. But I'm glad he he's at least in the game. Oh, Volcana! I mean, come on. Amazing. Elder, an ice elder dragon, she looks beautiful. You have the few occasions that you have to fight her. And even rappel her, uh, repel her to make sure that she has to go away. But she looks amazing. Everybody thought that, like, Volcana was the big bad of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. But in reality, you're realizing that, wait, there's something else that's still luring in the darkness. But Fukano deserves uh, amazing tier. And also, the only reason why she's not top tier is because of her fucking tail. That tail is annoying. Like, Jesus Christ. Shrieking like Yana. Where are you? Just fuck off. It's like Lekiana, but annoying, and it, it brings out another Lekiana. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'd rather have an original Lakiana than this piece of shit. This one version is hard. It's annoying because two Lakianas is already bad enough. It, it's... Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like streaky Lakiana. Fuck that. Also realized I forgot another monster, so I'm gonna put it right there. And that's Volker Engine F. I give him okay. It's like with Dragon. I almost forgot some monsters. A good thing I don't forget the... Uh, all of them, so don't worry about it. I'm not gonna forget all of them. Uh, Ascent Glavinus. I will give at least amazing. He's not better than Glavinus, but instead of Greatsword mechanic, he focuses more of Longsword, especially the cutscene. He kills Juros and Great Juros in that scene, and it's actually cool. It's actually cool that he does because it just shows that he's ready. He does, he, he sees you then, and then, yeah, the fight begins. Do it with the longsword is amazing. Like two longsword users facing each other. He's like, while you've been focusing killing monsters, I have studied the blade. Ebony Argaron. Where are you? I did not like this fight at all. Where are you? What? Is he not here? No way. Hold on. 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 Oh, there you are. Bad. I did not like it. I'm sorry. It's just it doesn't drag it and I'm in focus now. I don't like it. He looks evil. I'd rather have the original Odogaron, but Ebony uh, Odogaron, I did not like it. N no, that that's... I did not like that fight. Not fan. Not fan. Uh, let's see. Uh, seeking... Wait, what? Yeah, Seeking Basil Geese. Um, where are you, Seeking? I give you... I give you best. I give you best. It's just like... Same as Basil Geese, but more angrier and his explosion. You know, I'm gonna put an amazing, because... It, it, it's like his explosive is so bigger now, and he has now a move that he can just throw uh, across the area with his bombs, and then he just jump in like an atomic bomb. And it, it just, oh, it's, it's an, uh, I, I like the cutscene. He looks so pissed. He looks so like, I am going to fucking kill you. That kind of vibe. And I, I, I like how they designed him. Um, Black Foul for Zack. No, oh, no, 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 it's not that bad. I mean, it's bad because it's like a subversion of Valvazak, but instead of like death, he has like has that mold inside of him, and it, I had issues facing him. It, I did not like Black Val Valvazak. Has the same theme. It's in the ancient forest, but it's just oh, I I did not like it. I did not like it at all. I it's uh, I mean the cutscene is good, but no. Now Miel. Now this is a fight. That I at least give top tier. The design looks cool. The fight looks cool. Uh, the wa like the whole mechanic with water is cool. And people thought it was like uh, gonna focus on underwater uh, mechanic. And I know people really want to bring back underwater combat. I, I have never tried, but I will at least give it a try with Monster Hunter Free and Free Ultimate. But Namio music is good. The best moment I have with Namio is when I was with Light. We facing her, and what happened? The the bombs killed her off basically. We had the two mega barrels and it just hit her and it was just, just dead. But yeah, now we all like the design. It looks badass too. The only no annoying part is like the waves that she does, but it, it's still a cool monster. Uh, Runer Narigante. I will put the same for an amazing wit Narigante. He's like 
a um, subversion of Narragante. I always thought that it's the same Narragante. Somehow he fucking survived and he made it even more stronger. And it's in the same cutscene because you're first facing Rune Narragante and then you're facing Shara Isvalda. And I give Shara Isvalda the same tier as the Rune Narragante because the fights are is amazing because you face facing Rune. Then the casting plays with uh, Shara Isvalda. You think Arun and Erkant is dead, but then suddenly he appears out of nowhere and just killed them off. Like, it just shows how. Oh, it, it's legit the balance of the new world for Nergante. And for Shara Isvalda, I love the second phase of the fight because when. First, he just. His eyes are closed and then it opens. He doesn't look at the hunter, he looks at you. And that is so fucking creepy. And now we're actually in the Guidelands, the end game of Monster Hunter World. And there's one monster. Now I have said El that Teostra is my best, well, my favorite Elder Dragon to fight. But there's also a monster out there that is my favorite of all time. And that is none other than Zenogre. Zenogre is the top tier. I'm glad that he's the number one on the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter poll. And I would love to see more of Zenogre. He looks so cool. It's like he's a wolf, vibrant. It's, it's, it's so cool. Electricity can be annoying. And it's the music is good. It's, he's a good boy. I want to pet him. I just want to say, like, who's a good boy? He's a good doggo. He, I love him. I love Zenogre. Uh, oh, young, young Garga. I had issues with this thing. Young Garga. Uh, you know, I will put the say I will at least give him an okay with Young Garga and Scar Young Garga. These two are hard. And it's fun because, well, no, it's funny because uh, Scar Young Garga is like before the original one in the older games. And it's like a mix of Raffian, Ravalos, and with a little bit of uh, Kudo Yaku's moveset. And he gets faster and faster, and it can be annoying. The music is good, but he's so fucking annoying. I'm not liking fighting him again, but at least I'm glad I did it on YouTube. He, it's a, it's, it's an experience you're thinking, okay, you I at least have done with him. It's over. Uh, let's see, let's put on the ties. Uh, Kulf Tarots. <sighs> Top tier. I'm sorry, Kulf Tarots is, I, I love the music. I love how, the way she fights. Like, you have to make sure that the armor, that the gold of armor of her is being, like, destroyed. I want to make sure that she's just, like, okay, um, she's just leaving. So, at least you lose the, kind of lose the quest, but you don't. You do get, like, uh, a lot of gold, uh, uh, from her. And you can, like, upgrade your weapons. But the music is good. Kaltarot is an amazing Elder Dragon. She looks beautiful. Majestic. She deserves the best of the best. Uh, I almost forgot another monster, and that's Azur Ravlos. I will give it the same tier like the other uh, Ravlos. It's, like, harder. Uh, I experienced uh, only a few cases because I just want, like, for a weapon. And I realized that, oh, of course, Seven's Devil J. Hall, which we're also going to talk about. Uh, but, yeah. Azur Ravlos is just... Eh... It's okay. It's not bad. And then you got Savage Devil J. Hall. He can really fuck off. <laughs> he can really fuck off. He is so annoying. However, at least I have to give him bad. At least I have to give him bad because it's like a, he stays pissed off in the fights. It's like an angry pickle. But then again, I know people are going to be so mad. And, you know, it's my opinion. I want to know what you guys' tier lists are for Monster Hunter uh, Worlds. But uh, Savage Devil J. Ho is hard. It's annoying. Evil Pickle, man. Or ev Evil Pickle Dinosaur. No. I don't want to phase him again. I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it's over. Uh, ooh, almost forgot this one. Nagaku Wait, how, how did I miss Nagakuka? Oh, shit. Did I really miss Nagakuka? Oh shit, I didn't even look at it. I just straight up, you know, best. Damn. Did I really miss Nagakuka? It's also because I have I faced him once and I killed him so fast. Like Yeah, I have nothing else nothing else to say for Nagakuka. I mean Yeah, I mean damn! I didn't even I didn't even look at it. Damn, that that's my mistake. I'm sorry. I mean best for Nagakuka. Uh Black Panther, Wyvern. It's, it's like the same as Barry off and 
yeah, it's, it's still the same. It's like, uh, Rajan. Rajan. This fucking gorilla. Oh, this thing. Oh. It's funny because I like his design world much better than his other counterparts because the other ones are like bigger and like taller. But this is like a really form of a gorilla and. I, I, I give him these best. I mean, he is so annoying that I had to do a stream to beat him up. And you know what? Same goes to Furious Rajan. Same goes with that. Like, it's a, this gorilla goes Super Saiyan. It's funny because the original Rajan has a tail, but the other one doesn't, doesn't have a tail. And you can hear, like, he farts sometimes. It's just annoying because it just not only frustrates me, but it just uh, keeps me off guard all the time. It's... Oh... Uh, no, no thank you. It's like also the first free update on the end game. And when I heard about Rajan, I thought, oh, he's not that bad. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, Stunning Sunogre. I'll give him amazing tier. I mean, not top tier. It's the same, but he has now a court screw attack. Like, he, uh, what the fun is of Sunogre on the original, he goes like this on the ground. Then he attacks you three times on the, with jumping. While Stylin' Zenogre, it's more focused on two jumping and then goes for the cycle, uh, like, I think Cyclone, what's it called? But he goes for the, um, the Quartz Crow attack. Can be hard. Can be really, really hard because you find him in the Gaia Lands, but also on Elder's Recess. But yeah, I, I give, I give props on Stylin' Zenogre. I, I give props. It's, it's, I, it's, a, I don't have nothing much to say and I just, we just beat him up and that's it. Savajiva! S tier, oh, S tier, but top tier, uh, Savage Eva, only because of his special attack, the Sapphire Star Blast. The moment he's going there, you have to, like, go behind a rock, and when it happens, like, the music stops, and that little star appears, and it's a boom, blow the entire area. It's funny, because it's also the adult version of Xeno Jiva. And it, it, I, I love the theme, especially the last half, it, like, you can hear the heartbeat. That you know you're almost there. And it's also fun because he can target you. Which makes this dragon really, really uh, awesome to fight. If you're going to tell me, RJ, what kind of Elder Dragons out there do you want to see the most? Well, Teostra is one of them. Kulf Tagolt and Savage Eva. Print of hell, Print of Savage Eva Wilds. Like, I like the design. Badass monster. Uh, well, we already raid Furious Rajan. But Raging Brachydeos... Oh, you know what? I, I give it amazing because the final phase has, uh, like, he has, like, the same theme, but then his final phase kicks in and then the vocal starts in. And at that point, you know, you're on the last track. You're on the last phase. And it, it's hard because it's the same, like, Bracken deals, but this time he's more, he's bigger and he's hard to fight. Like, I died uh, multiple times against Rage and Bracken Dios, but. His fights are really good. I, I give him props for a reason because it's a monster that I'm thinking, okay, it's it's really good. I'm glad he exists. So we have that out of the way. Uh, Frost Ram Baryoff was a monster on the rope map. I forgot to do that. I like this more than the original Baryoff because he's like easy to beat. He's just keeping on that cave uh, area and it's inside of the Frost Ram, uh, Force, uh, Horse Frost Reach. That's it. That that's all about him. And I'm thinking, is my oh my camera's still working? It like, it's still yeah. It it it. it I think I like this fight better than the original Baryoff, But Frostman Baryoff is looks cool. I like how they he's like basting in ice. It's just oh, it's just oh. I like how he looks. And now you got Alatreon. Oh boy, Alatreon. I now understand why people have a love and hate relationship with this thing because this is a fight that made people angry and for all the right reason because of his DPS check and his Escanor judgment. Like you have to make sure that those horns are getting destroyed. And it's just ah, oh, it's oh, the nightmare facing him. Like the first the first battle with him we uh, uh, when I was streaming what happened, I had someone with a hunting horn, and he just took him down in five minutes. 
And I'm thinking, wait, how the fuck did this happen? So we already uh, succeed, but I'm realizing that you have to face Altrayon again to unlock something bigger. But Altrayon, he's hard. He's really, really hard. I like that he switched modes as well because he's used an elements. Fire, ice, dragon, sometimes a little bit of electricity, sometimes a little bit of water. I like about that, but he's hard. Like, he's really, really hard. I don't like visiting him again. Maybe in the future I will farm his armor set, but he's hard. He's really hard. And then we have Fatalis. S tier. Fatalis. It's, a f it's the last boss fight in Monster Hunter World. Beating him fails an accomplishment. And the fact that I beat him in his first phase, like, because you, in the first phase you have to do this on your own. His first phase, I did it with a great sword. And yes, I did some training before I streamed uh, Facing Fatalis. Because, one, I want to, like, learn what's the best uh, direction to take him down. And how l more I start learning, how better I get uh, through his movesets. And there was a few times that he got me. But, oh, uh, Fatalis is just a fight of everything especially when the second phase hits and then the moment we hit that dragon in the proof of the hero place oh just amazing i love about fatalis he's the hardest boss fight in monster hunter worlds now you may see on the tier list there's some monsters out there that I haven't faced him yet behemoth and guest monster from final fantasy legend of the witcher and silver avalos and gold raffian Silver and gold, I didn't have unlock it yet, and I heard Leshen and Behemoth are the worst, like the hardest parts in the fight. But that will be maybe in view for another time. But this is my tier list of Monster Hunter Worlds. I'm glad I beat this uh, game. I'm glad I did it because the moment they announced WoWs and the moment that I got a new PC, World was on the top of that list to do on my channel. And I'm glad that people at least give it a try. At least people give it a try to watch it. I'm glad that people like uh, start to get interested of more Monster Hunter content. I know it's not their cup of tea, but at least I'm glad that um, they tried, you know? So just like, you know what? Let, let, let's see. How good is it? But there's one more monster I want to hunt before I'm taking the edits from Monster Hunter mondays or people really want to see more of it then i will try to do more because after uh, the end of mario kart tuesday live season three we're continuing monster hunter mondays and we're doing uh generation ultimate on the switch but thank you so much for watching what is your tier list what is your opinion about this and i see you guys next time don't forget to smash the like button for me and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe for more content and see ya arrivederci bye bye